a desperate bid to secure his hard-earned position as mayor, the man promptly hired a hitman to brutally murder his own daughter, successfully framing his political rival, garnering sympathy from various sectors of society. He managed to clinch the mayoral position. However, an unexpected turn of events occurred my A.O. witnessed the hitman repeatedly crushing Min Jin's body. Seizing an opportunity while the hitman was busy taking photos, she sneakily hopped into the assassin's car and floored the accelerator. Mu Yeol avenged her friend, using the same method. Afterward, she took away the hitman's payment and phone, burying her best friend with her own hands, knowing that she would eventually become a target to silence. Mu Yeol documented her experiences and wrote them in a farewell letter. It was only at this point that the woman realized her husband was the mastermind behind it all. She immediately went to the supermarket, purchasing a significant amount of tools. For her husband, she prepared a lavish dinner, bringing closure to their relationship. Late at night, using the hitman's phone, she lured her husband to the site of their daughter's tragedy and incapacitated him with the stun gun he provided. Then, she used his blood money to scatter on the ground. <laughs> Witnessing her daughter's photo, the man displayed a hint of remorse, but it was too late to say anything. The woman beat the villain with a stick, ultimately covering his head with a plastic bag and securing his neck with clean film. Despite the man's despicable actions, she felt a pain of regret as he neared death, realizing there was something more terrifying than dying living with the consequences of his shattered reputation. Subsequently, the woman exposed evidence of her husband's affair with the teacher and his involvement in the murder for hire plot online, stripping him of everything he cunningly acquired. In the end, she didn't seek retribution against the teacher, acknowledging the situation between them.